moves a little bit more. It's not as hot today. It didn't fall off the ceiling. It's either the tape that's holding it up or the glue or a combination of the two. For these EPS foam pieces, probably more so the tape than the glue, but this one is most definitely the glue. This is an inch and a half. This is only one inch. That's why there's a steeper gap here. Mm. And I wonder if we put Reflectix over it, it's gonna stick out more than this one. If it there's a little something. bit of squeak. I think when we, before we put on the Reflectix, we have a little beetle tape or something so it doesn't rub. What do yeah. you think? We'll just have to test it out and see how it goes. I think we should use a spray foam because every time we see somebody spray it and it expands and everybody's like <gasps> Yeah, where's the spray foam? So we should do that for a test. Capable of filling in one inch. So we will try that. Good plan. I guess we need to do more than just spray foam today. I think what we will do is also some wiring. We're going to wire the existing light fixtures to connect them to the 12 volt house battery versus the car battery. So we don't run into the issue of the battery dying on us again. Guess what? You found these. <laughs> Where were they? They're were they really outside? Hiding in the garage. I randomly looked around a little corner and they were there. Oh, cool. I've been looking for these. We have four bars and three towers. Because I took one of the towers off to use on the cab of the truck as a wind deflector, which I'm not convinced that it works all that well. So we're gonna take that off and put it back on so the new owners of our truck camper can have two bars and mount skis, snowboards, surfboards, whatever they want on it. And we can have R2 on the top of the uh, roof. We'll get started. I'm gonna redo the wiring, you do the foam. Okay. Okay. It's like a plan. Ready, set. Gray stuff, gaps, and cracks. This will fill up to one inch. The thing about this can is once we open it and start using it, we have to use it all or it's trash. What? Because the foam, when it contacts air, it'll start to expand and then it will dry. Okay. Which means that if it's, if it's stuck in this tube, this applicator, this will become useless. So we can't do a test patch to see how far it expands. We just have to go for it. We just have to go for it. But I would do like a really light layer and then let it go through, go through the whole thing. Not... And then do another back to where you start and do it again, what? My favorite thing on van life videos is how everybody's like, I can't believe it expanded so much. <laughs> and now we're gonna- This happened a lot. And now it's Happens gonna be to our turn for people to laugh at us. <laughs> Shake vigorously for a minimum of 60 seconds. Is this vigorous enough? Yeah. This is like a shake weight. You gotta get both arms into the action. What I also heard about this is if you get it on your clothes, it's ruined. So you shouldn't wear clothes that you don't want ruined. And also I heard that if it spills, don't try to wipe it off until it dries. That's it, that's the whole bottle. I think it looks pretty good. I managed to not get, I don't think any on my shirt. I got a piece on the ground. And I filled, stuck this nozzle into like between, between the foam and just kind of spray them and fill them. At the very least we have to go get some more spray foam. Okay. And then Maybe we'll go to Lowe's, because Lowe's seems to have more insulation options than Home yeah. Depot. And I think they have different spray foam too. So that means we have to drive a little bit further but to go to a Lowe's. It's not because it's next to a Costco and you're craving a hot dog. I may be craving a hot dog. <laughs> so we're gonna do that sometime today. And until then I can get on with the wiring. Because the only thing that we need to do is we need to wire these lights. Yeah. We need to run wires for the fans. And once we run wire for the fans and the lights, then we can close up the ceiling. Yeah. Do we, cut, we need to cut the headliners at while we can it's up? We cut it later. No, we don't have to cut it while it's up. 
Because what we'll do is we'll cut the hole from the top. Right. And then we can just cut through here, and then from here we can trim out the exact shape that we need. Oh, from the top. From the top. Yeah. Or we could just take this headliner piece off. We'll see. We'll see how okay. we do this. We should try to install one of the fans, though, just so we, just, we can go through the process of seeing how far it sticks out and how much space we'll have from the bottom of the headliner to the the fan part. Well, we should start there, so then we can at least, if we're done with that area, we can start adding we all the headliner. We can close it from the front to back. Yeah. Okay. We can do that. Okay. Once it dries, it dries to like this kind of squishy foam expanded thing. And we didn't end up spraying too much. Most of it can just be left where it is. You see how it's filling up all this space here. It dried pretty quick. That, that was probably what? 20 minutes? Yeah. So some of it we have to kind of cut off and trim off. We'll get more of the stuff. Yeah, this is, you can also even just like peel it off in oh. some cases. Okay, so to run the wires, so that we can finish up the upper portion of all this. Yeah. I'm gonna run, so this is one of the lights that come out. And this runs all the way behind this foam into this wiring harness here at the end. But these are all connected up towards this, up until this connector that has both the power and also a switch. So this is the switch that controls all of these lights. So there's four wires there, and there are three sets of two wires here. So I'm just gonna snip these off and connect them all into one wire, and then connect it up to this, so I can still use the switch here, but the switch will be powered instead of by the van battery, the starting battery, it'll be powered by the house battery. So we can leave the lights running all day, all night, and it won't kill the van. So that's the plan. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to run another set of wires coming out to here, and another set of wires coming out to here, and that's going to power the fans. And once we have those done and we do the spray foam and seal up all the spaces, then I think we can put the headliner back in. We've got one fan. I think we should bring the fan out here so we can get the size determined and where we need to cut. Get that figured out. And then once we have that figured out, because what I want to do is with the fan that we have, if we install it, then we'll know how far down it comes. Then we'll also know like how, what hole to cut into the headliner so that can poke through. So it's not supposed to rain, but we also don't want to leave it open at night. Yeah. Okay, so we use two more cans of the expanding foam stuff. It didn't fill up a ton more space. It can be messy, so you gotta be careful. You wanna make sure that you have, when you have the foam, let me show you the can. This is one of the expended ones that has leftover foam on the tip, and that's how much it expanded. So what you wanna do is when you're, when you're using the stuff, is have the tip, and you wanna shove it in by the way, there's a lot of double entendres going on here when you use this stuff. You want to shove the tip of these spray bottles kind of into the deep recesses of the holes you're trying to fill. And as you're filling, slowly back out and then fill all the spaces. And then wait a good three to five seconds before you completely pull it out. And then make sure that it's not still coming out from the tip move it to another spot and then fill that this is like four to five dollars a bottle and it just filled for me this bottle just filled the cracks that are in here so it's way 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 more cost effective to use regular foam and stuff it as full as you can first and then use that spray foam stuff to seal around it kind of like what we're doing here and like these spaces you're going to want to stuff it full of rigid foam first before you fill it because otherwise to fill this much space is a lot of spray foam and it's expensive. Our mistake here is that we didn't fill it enough. I'm going to stuff more foam in there and then I'm going to come back with another can and fill more of the recesses. But 
Before we do that, I'm going to let this dry, let this expand fully, and let it dry, and see how much more we need. What are you guys doing here? You never saw me! <laughs> she disappeared! I used the elevator! <laughs> Push the, the up! Push the up button! Up! No! Up! <laughs> I'll never do that. Touch that foam bubble. Which one? The Jiggly, jiggly one. one. Dry one first. Okay, do the dry one first. Daddy, you ruined the surprise! Come on! This, this one looks like it's still puffed up. It's kind of squishy. It's kind of squishy? Kind of. Is that one just like really wet? Touch it. Just a little bit. <laughs> that one's more dry than this one. This is? Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, the outside's yeah, hard and already. Because that one knows, it feels like gum that you've Shoot in your mouth. Yuck. <laughs> what are we doing inside, Mila? Uh, mommy's spraying the top of the van and we're looking for water. We're looking for water from those. These are the holes if, that. If water drips, we have to secure it more. Come in from the outside for the roof tracks. And Marlene is spraying down the outside with water. See, we're looking to see if water comes through. And luckily. I'm not seeing any water. One, two, three, four, five. There are 11 on each side. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No leaking here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, no leaks. This wire is now tied to this wire and it's also tied to this wire and it's also tied to these wires and then they're all tied right here and comes down to which one this one so this set this set of wires is now powering these three wires that come out that connect to the light. So I will hook this up to the fuse block and put a switch in the in the middle. That way we can switch these three lights on, powering the light through the house battery when we got get that hooked up. I also ran a wire over here, and that's one of these. That's the lights. This is the rear fan, so that's this one hanging down right here. The one there. These two. And so that's going to connect to the fan. That'll go there. That one. And then this one is the front fan. And that connects to that. So when we put the fan there, we'll have the wire there. So now I have the wires that I need. And I'll be able to close up the top. And just leave this hanging out. Leave that hanging out. And these will come through the holes that come through the headliner already. So, once we're done insulating the top, we should be able to close it up. And the foam has been fully expanded. There. That's pretty much full expansion. I hope they don't expand more because there parts of it's kind of pushing that up against the wall quite a bit. And this one's expanded quite a bit. These have expanded quite a bit. So these pieces that I jammed this in here no did. longer move. This one did. Well, here's where we are with the build right now. We didn't get too much done today, unfortunately, once again. And then the weather has turned from hot to windy. So we can't really keep the, both two doors open because this, this door already slammed on us once. Fortunately, we've got enough uh, insulation in here for the sun to not heat up the inside too much. So that's good. We got these side pieces in. We got them glued in and taped down so the glue will dry overnight got a side piece here that doesn't have glue yet so we need to put glue there we we'll have to buy more glue all these side pieces have glue we need to get cut another piece here cut some smaller pieces here we put in a lot of spray foam so three cans of spray foam total and this spray foam like we knew from the get-go that you have to be careful how much to spray in but even knowing what it can do is still kind of difficult to be really careful with it. So there is one section, like this section for example, 
I mean, the, the thing is, we didn't even put too much in there. What people are worried about, and what I was worried about, is for the sheet metal to deform on the outside. Up here is not such a big problem because there's a lot of ridges to make the shape more sturdy on the outside. But from everything that we've read, Mercedes sheet metal is really thin. And there's big flat sheets of it over here. So we're careful to not use any spray foam here yet. We're going to probably do the edges here. But down here, we, what we were surprised to find when I looked outside that there were just like a slight little bulge that came out. And I don't even know how that came out because we didn't even put that much in there. So then I went outside and I started like pressing on it. And all that did is made more little like micro wrinkles that you can only tell if you're looking really close and you can only tell when the sun is reflecting right on it. I'll show you. I wonder if you guys can even tell. Now the sun's not really on it anymore. It's right in this area. Maybe you can tell in the reflection. Maybe you can tell when I, when I feel it. Where is it? Right around here. See, this is kind of a big flat piece with just like a little bend right here. So the first little bulge I felt was right there. And then I was like pressing on here. And just by pressing a little too hard, I made more little micro crinkles. But I don't know. It, it bothers us more than it probably bothers anybody else. Nobody can tell. Some people have asked in the comments, hey, have you guys thought about spray foam? Seems like spray foam would be perfect for space that's kind of hard to fill. So yeah, that's exactly the reason why we have decided to not use spray foam for the whole thing. And just sparingly, but even sparingly, you gotta be very careful. We're not gonna worry about it. It's so windy, I just flashed the neighbors on accident. You did? <laughs> that's why you have to tie your pants yeah. up or you dress up? Nice. Whoopsie. We really underestimated how much the spray foam we need, even though we're now a little bit shy of using the spray foam, but we still have to. The key is to not put spray foam behind the foam panels that you put in. Yeah. Is to put spray foam just on the edges, sparingly, and also kind of use it as glue almost. Right, so. So it's, yeah, so it's so, in place, it's not gonna squeak. Right. Rub it against anything. That's the key. That's the key with this foam situation right here. Cool? Well, we got batteries too. The batteries came today. Well. Right there, those two big heavy oh. things. Oh. We didn't have a huge budget, once again, because we're doing this both on a budget and with a time crunch. We got these VMAX 6 volt, 225 amp hour batteries. They're heavy. We gotta figure out where to put them. Initially, I was thinking we put them under the passenger seat, which the whole space under there is empty. Yeah. If we don't put the batteries there, we'll just use that as storage of some sort. Because I think it may be more convenient to put the batteries over here. Hey, because I think all the electrical components will go right here. Yeah, did you show everybody Ava's, or Ava's portrait of me? So, so, that, so this was my first one. Yeah. And then my fourth one. Uh, and my second one. Slapping my face. <laughs> and then mommy. Mama. Luca slapping his face. Okay, I'm gonna smile like that. It's it. Does it look just like that? <laughs> and he has too, uh, too big of a smile. It's supposed to be like. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> it be really close to your eyes. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching our video once again. This is the end of day five. I'm not sure if we'll work seven days a week and I don't know if we'll upload every day. We will do our best. So tomorrow is definitely gonna be another work day so we'll figure out exactly what we're gonna do. There's so much to do still, even though some of you have said that we're making good progress, but it's very daunting how much more there is still to do. I'm just really anxious to be able to put the headliner back. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you're already subscribed, please don't unsubscribe. 
If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing so you can see how the rest of the van build goes. If, 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 if you want to subscribe, that, 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 that's good, but, but, but if you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. Um, I, I just want to like push the thing in some more. Then... Okay, you scared me waving that hammer around here. <laughs> okay, say bye. Bye. See you tomorrow.